What's going on guys? Just uh, figured I'd give you an update. Been out doing some yard work. Just went to Menards, getting some supplies. Yeah, I use the truck for normal house chores too. Not just a cruiser, but we actually make it work. But I got some new parts here. Just figured I'd share with you. Um, new differential cover for my 8.8 .8 373 limited slip that's in the back of this. They all come stock with that if you have the um, the V8 all-wheel drive. It comes with that already, so that's kind of nice. Um, I got to pick up some a bottle of uh, friction modifier to go with that because you got to put. Uh, bottle additive in when you change your gear lube in the rear end of this thing because you know for the clutches needs the additive in there then I got some uh, Gabriel coil springs for the back I got some Monroe's on there now and uh, they're cheap you gotta replace them like every three years um, they wear out the springs compress and the ass end starts to sag again it needs new leaf springs um, eventually I'll get to that but just replace the coil shocks like every three years and it's good enough you know um I also got a moog front wheel bearing with abs sensor because these explorers love to eat wheel bearings um <laughs> you probably be doing those every three years too but don't get the cheap china ones i did that and <sighs> that was a big mistake because i'm replacing it now after three years um you know, these old trucks are always, it's always a project. Um, you can get discouraged pretty easy by the project. Uh, you know, because I mean, it, it costs money to keep these old trucks going. They're, they're money pits. Um, it's a labor of love because the amount of money that you're going to put into it when you're restoring it, getting it back to snuff, uh, is going to succeed the blue book value by a lot. So if you're doing it, as a labor of love, you know, that that's probably best for you. If you're doing it to, to resell the truck, uh, good luck to you because, it, like I said, they're not worth a lot. Um, so you'd just be wasting your time. But I enjoy what I do. I don't have to explain it to people. Um, I do get some, some, get some questions, you know, why are you restoring something like that? You know, why don't you restore like a 60s car or something? And, uh, it's just a personal preference, I guess. Everybody restores 50s, 60s, 70s cars. I want something newer. I was uh, watching Barrett Jackson earlier today and uh, seeing a, uh, I think it's like a 90 or 89 Ford Bronco. Somebody restored sell for like 12.5. So there's interest in SUVs and trucks right now. The car interest is kind of going away. Uh, a lot of people are going for trucks and stuff. So I don't feel too bad restoring it, you know, at this time. Um, it's definitely unique. Um, I like it, but you know, don't get discouraged and make sure you save up some money for the project because it's going to be a long term commitment. You ain't going to whip this thing into shape in a year. You got to have the right connections or else you're going to get scammed by going to the wrong people. Uh, especially with mechanics. <laughs> There's a lot of nonsense that goes on with that. Um, anyways, yeah, this diff cover here. Um, it's got a drain, I uh, fill and a drain plug at the bottom of it. Um, cast aluminum or whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to have to clear coat it. I was going to paint it red, but I decided not to because I think it'd look like shit. It looks pretty good right now. Um, simple clear coat, and you got to protect this here. But uh, this one, <laughs> this would be a lot easier for uh, maintenance and fluid changes because. The stock one on the truck only has a, um, a fill plug, not a drain plug. So, you know, every time you want to change the gear lube, you have to pop the cover off and you have to reseal it all the way around. Um, so this will, this will be easier for maintenance. It'll be really nice to have that. There's a lot nicer diff covers for sale if you really want to spend the money, 200 250 bucks. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's good enough, you know. Nice aluminum finish on the inside. They did a nice job. The edges. Comes with bolts and it came with some cheap ass gasket maker. 
our TV, but I threw that out. I'll get my own. I don't trust their stuff. Uh, I like these red coil springs. Um, don't like is this top is plastic. Not happy about that. However, I read it on their guy's reviews and he tested them out for three years and it never snapped the cap on it. So the uh, Monroe's I got on there now have a metal top on them. So you have to worry about them snapping. But like I said, uh, the coil springs, you're lucky to get three years out of them before they compress and start rattling underneath there. Um, so, yeah, I got a pile of parts here, and as you can imagine, this pile of parts here, you know, is about 300 bucks. And uh, you'll constantly, you'll constantly be putting that money into these trucks. Constantly. It's always something. Um, it needs, uh, needs a fuel pump, too. So that's another, that's real expensive, you know, you got to choose between the Delphi and the Motorcraft. Uh, and uh, that's expensive too. Um, and you got to pay a guy to put it in, because I sure as hell ain't going to do a fuel pump. There ain't no way. It's just too much nonsense. I'd rather pay somebody to deal with that. And then uh, it needs new exhaust manifolds or headers, whatever I feel like doing. Um, I thought about headers over there triple the price and you only uh, like literally only get like 20 horsepower if you put headers on here and the headers don't really fit very good either you have to do lots of adjustments you have to worry about melting spark plug wires melting your heater box the heater the um headers touching the motor mount um it, it's just it's a lot of hassle for headers so maybe in the future but not right now um it's just a project truck would I like to put more money into it to make it nicer a lot sooner? Sure. Um, but I got, you know, I'm putting money into my house and other stuff. Uh, all in good time, I guess. Um, what's nice about not rushing into it and uh, putting all this money into it right away is that it gives you some time to sit and think back and think about which mechanics you want to go to for your stuff, you know. Because um, you might get a bad mechanic and get scammed. Uh, when I got the engine built on here, I went to a bad mechanic, and uh, engine still runs. It has for three years, but it's not by any means perfect. So um, when you're doing a car restoration, sit back and think. Take all the time you need, because you could lose thousands if you make a bad mistake. Um, anyways, let me get under the truck here, and I'll show you what we got going on. Um, I can see up there. Those are the uh, um, Monroes that are on there now, and uh, they look fine, but they're, the springs are uh, compressed more than they should be, so they rattle down a lot when you go over bump. And there's the stock 8.8 .8 cover, which is disgusting looking, so you can see why I'm replacing that. <clears throat> Here's another look at the differential cover. So that's pretty nice. But. All right, guys. Well, I figured I'd give you an update. So take care. Catch you later.